Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Laura here again. Today we're diving into the vibrant world of Mexican art and exploring the life and works of Maria Izquierdo. Maria Izquierdo was born on October 30th, 1902, in San Juan de los Lagos, Jalisco, Mexico. She grew up in a modest family, but was always drawn to the arts from a young age. Her talent was evident, and by her teens, she was already receiving recognition for her artistic abilities. At the age of 15, Maria Izquierdo married a soldier named Candido Posadas, which marked the beginning of her adult life. However, her marriage was far from conventional, as it was characterised by constant moves due to her husband's military assignments. She had three children with him, but felt profoundly dissatisfied with her role as a wife and mother. It wasn't until the early 1920s that Maria Izquierdo and her husband found themselves in Mexico City. This move was pivotal in her artistic development. In the bustling capital, she was exposed to a thriving cultural scene, where art and ideas flowed freely. Eager to pursue her artistic ambitions, Maria Izquierdo enrolled at the Academy of San Carlos, one of the most prestigious art institutions in Mexico. This decision marked the beginning of her formal art education, which would set the stage for her future as a professional artist. It was here that she was exposed to the vibrant cultural scene and met prominent artists like Diego Rivera and Rufino Tamayo. Her studies at the academy, though promising, were abruptly cut short in 1928. The other students grew resentful of Rivera's favoritism towards Izquierdo's work, subjecting her to relentless torment from jealous peers, which ultimately compelled her to leave school. Shortly after, Rivera quit. However, her most influential mentor was Tamayo, with whom she also shared a romantic bond. The relationship spanned from 1929 to 1933, a period marked by the sharing of a studio in the heart of Mexico City's historic centre. It was during this time that Tamayo introduced her to watercolour, a technique that would later become one of her signature styles. They drew inspiration from European avant-garde artists during a period when few Mexican artists were seeking influence from European counterparts. This divergence gradually set them apart from the prominent Mexican muralists, including Diego Rivera, David Alfaro Siqueiros, and José Clemente Orozco, who primarily viewed painting as a political instrument for promoting Mexican identity. During this era, Mexico was having a revival of art, becoming influenced by pre-Columbian art. This is when Maria Izquierdo began to develop her unique style, blending elements of surrealism with indigenous Mexican themes, her art became a reflection of her personal experiences and Mexican culture. In the 1930s, Maria Izquierdo held her first solo exhibition, which marked the beginning of her journey as a professional artist. She gained recognition not only in Mexico, but also internationally. It was the French surrealist poet and writer Antonin Artaud who was in Mexico that discovered her work. Artaud was deeply intrigued by the vivid colours, dreamlike symbolism and the profound connection to Mexican culture, evident in Maria Izquierdo's paintings. Her art spoke to him on a profound level. Artaud's support and recognition provided Maria Izquierdo with a platform to showcase her art on a global scale. Her paintings began to gain attention not only in Mexico, but also in Europe, making a significant turning point in her career. She had already been the first Mexican woman to exhibit in the US, and after exhibiting in Paris in the 1930s, she showcased in San Francisco and Mexico City. At this time, she was being called the best contemporary Mexican painter. Throughout her career, Maria Izquierdo created a diverse body of work, including still lifes, portraits and landscapes. Her art often featured vivid colours, dreamlike symbolism, and a deep connection to Mexican folklore and traditions. One of her most iconic works is My Nieces, which beautifully combines elements of Mexican folk art and surrealist elements, showcasing her talent for blending the old and the new. Maria Izquierdo's art often delved into themes of identity, mythology, and spirituality. Her paintings were like windows into the world of Mexican mysticism and folklore where everyday objects transformed into symbols of profound meaning. Notice the meticulous attention to detail in her work. She had a remarkable ability to capture the essence of her subjects, whether it was still life, arrangement, a self-portrait, or a landscape. Another remarkable aspect of her work was her ability to infuse her paintings with a sense of nostalgia and longing. In The Little Polisher, for example, she masterfully conveys 
the emotions of the subject and the viewer through her brushwork and colour choices. Maria Esquerdo's unique blend of surrealism and Mexican folk tradition sets her apart from her contemporaries like Frida Kahlo and Salvador Dali. While she was often associated with the surrealists, her work had a distinct Mexican flavour that resonated with people all over the world. The incorporation of pre-Hispanic elements and symbols held personal significance for her as well. During this period, she pioneered her unique utilisation of these motifs as a means to highlight the challenges faced by Mexican women of her time. Throughout her art, she offered a glimpse into the experiences, constraints and hardships that women encountered in the post-revolutionary era. In doing so, she expanded the interpretive horizons of pre-Hispanic symbols while simultaneously redefining Mexican female identity from a feminist standpoint. In 1945, Maria Izquierdo received a significant commission to create a mural depicting the history of Mexico City within the stairwell of the Department of the Federal District. This groundbreaking opportunity marked her as the first woman to secure a major governmental mural commission. Maria Izquierdo had diligently developed her plans for the mural project, posed to make her mark on the artistic landscape. However, her excitement was short-lived as she received a disheartening note from the Mexico City's governor, who cited technical reasons for evoking the commission. Surprisingly, it was Diego Rivera, once a supporter of Izquierdo, and David Adfaro Siqueiros, both prominent figures among the big three muralists, with José Clemente Orozco being the third. He played pivotal roles in obstructing her career progression. Rivera and Siqueiros successfully influenced the decision of Governor Javier Rojo Gómez, convincing him that Maria Izquierdo lacked the qualifications necessary to execute the mural. Siqueiros, in particular, later defended the decision by pointing to Izquierdo's technical inexperience, rather than gender or talent as the primary factor. Maria Izquierdo, along with others who provided accounts of the incident, maintained that gender discrimination played a significant role in the decision to revoke her commission. The cancellation of Maria Izquierdo's moral commission underscores the complexities and challenges faced by women artists in a male-dominated art world. It also highlights the shifting dynamics within the muralist movement, where once supportive figures became obstacles to her career advancement. After she spoke up against them, and she lost many of her supporters. During this period, Maria Izquierdo grappled with the intense nightmares that fueled her artistic expression. In 1947, she translated one of these unsettling dreams into Sueños y Pensamiento, a painting where she holds her own decapitated head, offering an eerie glimpse into future trials. In 1948, Maria Izquierdo faced a significant setback when a stroke left her paralysed on her right side. Her unwavering determination led her to train her left hand diligently, allowing her to continue her artistic journey. Despite her remarkable efforts, her post-paralysis works never quite matched the quality of her earlier creations. Nevertheless, she persisted, producing 20 more pieces before her passing in 1955 cementing her enduring artistic legacy. On October 25th, 2002, marking a century since her birth, Maria Izquierdo was honoured with the title of Monumento Artístico de la Nación by Mexico City's National Commission of Arts and Culture. This designation guarantees the safeguarding, documentation, scholarly examination and preservation of her work, ensuring the lasting legacy one of Mexico's prominent artists from her era. Maria Izquierdo's legacy lives on. Her art illuminated an alternative portrayal of women's experiences, challenges and potentials, emphasising their equal roles and active engagement in shaping national identity. Her creative expressions played a pivotal role in breaking down barriers for numerous aspiring women artists in Mexico, paving the way for their artistic contributions. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of Maria Izquierdo, 
don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more art and design content. And as always, let me know in the comments which artist or topic you'd like me to explore next. See you on the next one. Bye.